be first of all before I start uh, getting all depressed and antisocial I would like to hope that any single person listening right now has, has had a good day or are going to have a good day and you're all feeling happy and uh, you, you don't want to kill yourself should start this off on a I know a certain subject I've been thinking about recently Hopefully I don't speak too fast for you. You can always rewind, I suppose. The subject is important. What is important, really? I don't want to sound like a, uh, a nihilist, but... What's really going to matter? I'm 25 years old. I'm, I'm 26 in another three months and 20 days. Let's say I live till 80. I've just got over 50 years left in my life. And then, what, well, say, I could, I could cure cancer in that amount of time. I could uh, raise a beautiful family, put lots of money to charity. But what does that really mean anyway? As far as my beliefs go, there isn't any God. There's no afterlife. I'm just going to fade away into internal darkness and there'll be nothing left after that people will mourn for me but eventually I'll be forgotten I'll just be a quaint thought for the weak my point is what is the importance of, of, of anyone's actions sure I'm here now and and I appreciate the people who have fought for rights I appreciate like the people who have fought for racial uh, well, sorry, thought against racial prejudice uh, and, and slavery. I appreciate the efforts scientists and philosophers have made to the human condition. You know, we have computers, we have electricity, we have we have music and and drugs, alcohol, clothing, homes. I appreciate that, but. What does it matter to that person? What does it matter to Maria Curie, who, after all of her research and an experiment, she ended up being killed during her her own success? What does it matter? Martin Luther King fought against racial prejudice and what does he feel about it now? He's, he's nowhere, he's just laying in the ground in the dirt. So what does it matter, really? And hey, let's let's get something straight. I'm I'm not I'm not fighting against racial injustice and sexism and and moral attitude attitudes. Moral attitudes I think every single person, man, woman, child, black, white, Asian, Polish, Hungarian, G German, everyone deserves to live free. But in the end, what, what does it really matter? But don't get depressed about this, eh? Hey? I ain't got the perfect voice, I can't make you get an ex existential crisis just because you're listening to my voice now. And I, and I don't want that. It's just thoughts on my mind. I'm a little bit drunk, but to be fair, I usually am. Because, well, I, I just like it. YOLO may have died out and... I think this may be the first time I've ever actually said YOLO, but you do only live once, so do the things you want to do. If somebody pisses you off and you feel anxious to to do something about it, go ahead and do it. Would you feel more anxious if you didn't do anything? You get made to feel bad if you want to sit down and binge watch TV shows or eat the whole chocolate cake or 
drink the whole bottle of vodka, smoke a cigarette, smoke a spliff, take, take some ecstasy. Hey, take some heroin. I'm not here to judge. Nobody here is born to judge your way of life. So act like that. I think many of us wake up and we spend hours to make ourselves presentable, to walk outside and, and sit proudly. Yes, I get my hair cut at a professional barber's and I go to some kind of expensive hair salon to get my hair dyed and permed because we don't like the way we look. Simple as that. And I don't know when that started to happen, but at some point in human history... <coughs> Apologies. At some point in human history, we decided that we needed to look better. We needed to change our appearance. And, and that has somehow evolved from, say, wearing feathers in our hair and a little bit of makeup to, to, to twisting our nose into unnatural shapes and even changing. I mean, I have tattoos. I have piercings. Again, I'm not here to judge. But why the fuck do people feel the need to, to, to put, like, implants in in the boobs and in the penis people actually have penis implants that's crazy to me and, and bum implants all that does is affect our perception of what a person should look like let's say uh let me think of a celebrity kim kardashian and and justin bieber and uh what's that fucking footballer's name no, oh, I can't remember his name. I don't give a shit about football anyway. But like, e even after having all these surgical it, it, improvements, open quote, imp improvement, cl close quote, we still feel the need to then Photoshop all of our... Oh, just all of us. Every single part of our body just needs improving so we look like the perfect human... It's, it's, it's ridiculous and then when a person sees that I, I can't speak for everybody but when I see that I just feel hey I'm not going to look like that if, if I see a woman looking with like a, a fucking 8 inch waist and a, and, a, and a 25 inch bust and and a 23 inch butt I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to think oh every, every single woman should look like that I try not to think like that but we're, we're living a crazy time now and Say if I grow up during this time when I have this kind of access to the internet, the person I grew up to be would expect every single person to look like that manufactured human, and and that's not the way things are. We spend our days listening to music, reading newspapers, which make us depressed. I mean, it makes me depressed. So I only assume it makes other people depressed. Open, uh, wake up at seven in the morning, make a cup of coffee, slice of toast, get on the bus, go to work. You got your free bus newspaper to read and first page rape, second page murder, third page paedophile ring broken open fourth page money laundering fifth page fucking drug dealers being sent down for what selling a natural product it, who cares if a person wants to forget about life for a little while to smoke a spliff or take some ecstasy or take some heroin or some fucking m mushrooms but now that's important. It's important that we have to know that we got caught with two hundred pound cash. You go through all these pages of of depressing news, people being shot and murdered, and then what's what's next? Oh, Hugh Jackman's got a new girlfriend. Or oh, you know, oh my god. The celebrity is dumped. This celebrity is who gives a flying fuck. Next page. Yeah, you got a little quiz because we know you need to calm down after all this news. And then it's just sport. Who cares if a person kicks a football into a fucking net or not?
humans have been evolving for millions of years but social <coughs> social evolution has been happening for what well, I mean genuinely let's say that the last hundred years I mean within the last hundred years we've had a world war a cold war constant in invasions on other countries but we've had the explosion of connectivity and technology and easier ways to find out what's happening in, in the world and some people decide to use that for personal gain yeah, I don't blame them I wish I could but then others decide to use that knowledge for self confinement to to wake up open up the phone check Facebook check Twitter check Instagram make sure you get in the likes you need to get out of bed nobody needs a coffee anymore nobody needs a jog it's just to to find out how other people are, are seeing them and enjoying them and that's another issue you know what I fucking hate about Facebook and Twitter and Instagram is is this lack of, of of a of a disapproval option. You can retweet, you can like a Facebook status and like some Instagram photo, but where's the option to say, "Hey, I don't like this, and I don't want to see this." It's not there. Do you want to know why? Because these websites need it. Because if it was full of depressing thoughts, it wouldn't get the views and attention it needs. But we all need to see the, the, the hardship of life. Hey, we're, we're not living in a... In, in a <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, guys. I've smoked a few cigarettes, so... Kind of coughing up a little bit. Life isn't a utopia. Nothing's perfect. Not yet. Maybe one day it will be. I don't personally feel like it will. And I think more companies need to start accepting that. Newspapers aren't going to. No news journalist is going to. Well, I mean, sure, you, they, they can tell you about your murders and rapes and paedophilia, but in the end of the day, they're still going to chuck the little puppy who saved the boy from the lake to try and cheer you up a little bit. I mean... Websites, you go on Nine Gag, you just see pretty women and dogs who have learned how to batch the crouton out of the soup for the boy who was allergic to croutons. And on Facebook, it's just inspirational quotes. You're fucking sharing an inspirational quote with a sunlight in the background saying, I am what I am. Yeah. The society pisses me off with a passion. People only care about one thing, really, and it's themselves. I know I've kind of touched on quite a few subjects, but I just want you to look at the way people use you. And, and, I, and I don't need friends. I mean, I mean the bigger picture. I want people to understand reading about famous people how, how does that bring pleasure to your life looking at beautiful women online or even porn for that matter how, how does that bring pleasure to your life I know women look good but at the end of the day you're just looking at a picture and for the women who maybe listen to this, to the straight women looking at a man with a huge bulge wearing Calvin Klein underwear, how does that bring pleasure to you? I know it does bring pleasure to you, that's the natural way of things, but at the end of the day, you are just still looking at a picture, you're still just looking at the manufactured life of other people which is in some way designed to make you feel envious for them and to want that experience the problem is spending your time reading about all the shit that goes on in the world is kind of stopping you from writing your own story for other people to read and it's kind of stopping the opportunity for me to 
deeply examine why you are in the newspaper in the first place. That was my 15 minute vlog, vlog, podcast. <laughs> that was my 15 minute podcast. It's not important how long it lasted. I'll probably edit it down and, but I, I probably won't because fuck edits in. Life's been edited too much anyway. Have a good life.